Today is March 30th. I did not know that. 2016! And we are headed to swim class today. You mean swim lessons? Swim lessons. Good at the bouncing? But just not at the, the making bubbles. So after a fun morning with Eli, I spent the rest of the day catching up on work. And now I am headed to the Old Town School of Folk Music. We are headed there tonight with the WBEZ podcast crew to record a live podcast episode of Curious City, which is a fun uh, podcast in which they dig deeper into interesting questions about the city of Chicago. So speaking of questions and being curious, I am curious to know what people think about the vlog about I've done it for 30 days now uh, today tomorrow will mar mark one month how, uh, depending on how you log it so I'm curious what do people think I'm gonna have people asking me questions and hopefully I will be able to answer those questions on the way home. Sound good? I just tweaked my neck just then. Ouch. All right, Tyler, how are you feeling about the, about the show? I feel great. It starts at 8 o'clock. Oh, that's right. You're doing your... We call it V-Log. V-Log. We called him out for a vlog last night, live on stage. He has a vlog, and we think that's a very gross name for something that's probably awesome. Make me a poster of an old radio. Just stand in one thing. But look who I ran into. What's up, guys? What other people have called my, my younger or older brother. Okay. Depending on depending on, depending who you on talk to. how much grays in my beard. <laughs> so this is Bobby. Bobby is uh, start. We're gonna about to talk about yeah. your, your series. He won the NBC under underground. What was it called? Playground. NBC Playground. Well, it was. It kind of fell underground. Oh. We we figured it all out. Like you would in, in underground. Is that what is that even a phrase people use in like? Oh yeah, I'm doing an underground I'm doing project. An underground like, I don't want to watch that. What is that gonna be? I want nothing to do with that. <laughs> that was a good, fun show. Curious City. Check out the podcast. Look it up. Gotta load up my stuff. And I will turn on my phone and see if I've got some questions to answer for my question segment of the vlog. How are you doing? Doing pretty good. Thanks for asking, David. Come into town and we'll have a burger the next time you're in town. Like we did the last time. Well, not the last time you were in town, but the last time I saw you when you were in town. Travis says, what's your favorite thing you've learned about fatherhood so far? Well, let me tell you. The, the, the favorite thing I've learned about fatherhood so far is that uh, playing chase can oftentimes distract either one of them, my children, from 
uh, whatever it is they're upset about. So if if uh, if they get upset about something, I just say, "Oh, I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you!" And then we just start playing chase, and then it's over, and they're not worried about that thing that they were worried about anymore. It's all about distraction, I guess. Uh, what happened to the anger, Brian? It's still there. Uh, but the funny thing is, before the anger, there was actually a thing called Be More Huggy that I did. Uh, I have anger.com. Check it out. I'm trying to get better at it. I, I will get better at it. How's that? Thanks for the question, Brian. Favorite guilty pleasure food for Corey asks Twizzlers. Is that a food or is that candy? I don't know. If you want to go candy, I would say Twizzlers. If you want to go food, I would say favorite guilty pleasure food is cheese dip. I make a Velveeta cheese dip that is delicious, but I eat it all and then I get sick and it's just not good. Jimmy asked, do you keep those same frozen burritos that we used to pick out on at your parents? I actually don't have the same ones, but I do have frozen, uh, like Costco frozen burritos in my freezer right now. And I love to eat them. They are yummy. Why is there air? There's a thing called the internet. Look it up, Mike. When you were 16, what star did you want to be and what star did you have a crush on? So I wanted to be Bono uh, when I was 16. And then what star did I have a crush on? I can't really, uh, I don't really know. Like nothing boldly comes to mind, but I just did a, like a Google search of like 1990s pop culture to like just give my my brain a like jog down memory lane and 90210 came up and uh, I do remember having a crush on Jenny Garth Sarah asks where's angry man I just answered that with Brian uh, but if you want to check it out go to ihaveanger.com that's where he is another alley which household chore are you most excited to delegate to your kids when they're old enough I would say probably doing the dishes and or taking out the garbage. Uh, John wants to know, did Sophie make the right choice? Well, here's the thing. Sophie now lives with my in-laws. They got a dog named Sophie, and I think she made a pretty good choice. I can't wait to meet her. I'd love to know, Mike asks, I'd love to know what camera gear you use. Any recommendations for budget cameras? I want to make some vlog type videos of the events I'm putting together for House Theater's teen group and need some advice. Well, Mike, I will make a whole entire video about the, my gear. For now, it looks like that's all the questions. So we'll do this again another time. <laughs> Oh, yeah.